My problem is the following. Interaction with the spirits of various places turned out to be quite successful. Everything works as it should, but I never get a response to my requests to give me a sign. It's like I just can't hear. How can I ensure that my receiver is working? It's glad some colleague that you have an operating transmitter. And that's pretty much half of the battle. And as for the receiver, you want to see and hear the signs, you want to get feedback. It's an understandable wish. To know that your words are not going unnoticed. Although, generally speaking, you can already see that they are not unnoticed. Everything's being fulfilled, but somewhat silently. You want a conversation, right? Get into a closer contact with reality, with the spirit world, with the world of gods. And I certainly understand this desire. The signs are actually there. It is never a one-way street situation. It's almost always a dialogue. A dialogue with reality. And if you see the result, then there must have been signs that show that result. The problem is likely within a certain criticality of consciousness. What is a criticality of consciousness? It is not necessarily a rejection of certain information, certain signs, not the unwillingness to see them. But as a rule, it's the desire to see something specific. I mean, in the back of your mind you've most likely decided for yourself that a sign is this or that, and everything else is not. You may not be aware of it, that is, you don't have a clear framework, like this is a sign, and this is not a sign, and this one I am certain about. But it's somewhere in the subcortex, it's like an expectation. For example, a crow has to call three times. And that's it, two calls don't count. Your ear won't even catch it, it will fly by, it will switch on only after the third call. It has to necessarily be, I don't know, a black cat needs to run by. If it's a grey-white cat, we won't even see it. I mean, these are some expectations of yours superimposed on magical reality. Such as, reality will be considered magical if. But this is utterly wrong. Reality may not necessarily speak to us in the language we are willing to listen in. And not necessarily the language in which you think. This is where you should turn off that criticality of consciousness. You have to open your eyes widely, empty your mind and see that it's all one big sign around you. It's just like you, when you were a child, you couldn't read. And you would open a book and you would see some kind of interwoven patterns, right? And then, when you learned to read, you started to unpack these patterns as information. That's about the same with reality. When you look at the world around you, it's like a text in a book that you can't read, like some Arabic script or Chinese characters. It all looks very interesting and pretty, but it doesn't make any sense. If I come across a familiar character, I'll say, yeah, I know this one. But as long as there are no familiar characters, there's no information as well. But it's there, it's just in a different language from what you're expecting. Imagine that you can neither read nor write. You're only learning and starting to open your eyes to this reality, to this world. And you begin to learn the elements, the characters, the signs, the features of this writing. And then, at some point, you suddenly realize that you know how to read one word, then some words, and then an entire coherent phrase. This will come with experience and with time, when you get rid of your expectations. As if you're a two-year-old and you're just learning to read a completely unfamiliar language. But you're a two-year-old, you're not a grown-up with a beard and you know nothing about the world and the language you immerse yourself into. And just like a child wouldn't be embarrassed by it, you shouldn't as well. It's simply a different language, an elven language, why not? And we can learn it similar to a child, letter by letter. Letters first, followed by syllables and then sentences. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. And that's how it all will come together.
But if you're looking for familiar letters, nothing will ever come of it, because there are no familiar letters there. That shall be my answer to you. I hope, colleague Arthur, that this will help you get into the right state of mind and learn to read the texts that reality sends you, given that it fulfills your intentions. It can surely read your language. By the law of reciprocity, now it's your turn to learn to read the language of reality. And that shall be fair.